Hi, I'm Maggie Cole's sister. I'm a track cyclist and I'm also a yoga instructor. And I'm going to guide you through a practice that I like to do at kind of the end of the day after riding or, you know, just, it's great for cyclists. It's also just great for everyday life, whether you sit at a desk or whatever. We'll get into some chest openers, get into some glutes, quads and back. And yeah, let's get started. So we'll start cross leg, just like I am here. Just kind of warm up through this. So we're gonna do some circles. So take some circles with your torso, just in one direction, about three of them. You know, just get that blood flowing. Warm up a bit and go the other way. Good, one more. And switch legs, the uncomfortable cross leg leg in front. And same deal, three circles one way. Take some deep breaths as you do this, just kind of connect into your breathing. And three circles the other way. Good. From here, we're going to move into tabletop. So however you want to get there, come into tabletop. We're just going to take some cat cow. So what you're going to do is you're going to Inhale, drop your stomach, look forward, tailbone up and back, arch through your spine. Exhale, push through your hands and come into cat. Come into cat. <laughs> Sorry. Good. Inhale, look forward, come into cow. Exhale, round through your spine. Just take a couple more. You have an option here to flip your hands. So you get a bit of a stretch in through your wrists as well. Good. One more. From here, just come back to neutral. Kickstand your right leg, turn onto your side. Just gonna do a stretch for our side body. Inhale your arm up overhead. Should feel a good stretch through your hip, probably through your arm and shoulder as well. You can kind of turn your head up and down, get some mobility through your neck. Good, and turn this into a quad stretch. Find some balance, so lift your leg off the ground, reach back and grab it. Good, with this, just really push your, or kick your foot into your hand. Should feel a nice hip quad stretch here. Nice. And gently let it go. Come back to tabletop and we'll take that the other way. Just turn so I'm still faced the same way as you. So kickstand your rear foot, plant your other foot, arm up overhead. Good, feel that stretch through your side. Just take a few deep breaths here. and turn it into a quad stretch. So bend that back leg, grab that foot, kick that foot into the hand. Good, rotate your neck up and down. And gently let that foot go. Come back to neutral. We're gonna come into puppy pose, so a stretch for your chest from here. So walk your hands forward. And as far as you can go, just let your chest sink towards the mat. Good, you should feel this through your shoulders, through your chest. If there's any pain or discomfort, you can come out. So just back up. And if not, just take some deep breaths and let it go. Good, one more breath here. Good. Keep your hands where they are. We're going to tuck our toes, lift our knees, and come into downward facing dog. I love this one for backs of the legs, calves. Just really walk it out. So sink each heel down towards the mat when you lift the other. As most cyclists are quite unflexible, <laughs> bend your knees lots. 
that will allow you to get extension through your spine. Good. You can keep walking it out or find stillness. Nice. From here, we're going to come into a high lunge. So choose one leg. You can start on the right side. Look up towards your hands and bring that leg up. From here, come up tall. You're going to feel this as a nice big stretch through your hip flexor. You can goal post the arms here. Incorporate a chest stretch. Good. Works the balance. You'll feel a bit of engagement through the legs as well. Just hold it for three, two, one, and gently let that back knee fall onto the ground. We're going to come into half splits. So hands beside your front foot, shift your hips back, toes can come off the mat, and you're going to feel a big stretch through your calf and your hamstring here. And just keep thinking about sitting those hips back. When you sink into this one, you can start tall and then just let yourself fold. If that's too much, just come out of it. Good. And we'll take all that on the other side. So step your front foot back to downward facing dog. Walk it out, shake it out. And left foot forward. Coming into high lunge, inhale, and goal post those arms, bring it to that chest stretch. Good, feel the engagement through your legs, nice and strong through that back leg. Hold it for three, two, one, and drop your knee, untuck your toe. Coming into that half split, straighten through your front leg. And feel that hamstring stretch. Fold over that leg if you feel ready. Good. Just take one more breath here. Nice, and re-bending through that front leg. We're gonna turn this into a pigeon pose. If you have any knee issues or pigeon is tough, you can also uh, go onto your back and take figure four, which I'll show in a second. But pigeon pose, just walk that foot over. Drop that knee. Starting up tall. Inhale, stretch through this hip. And when you're ready, you can start walking your hands forward and folding over that leg. Good, so this is pigeon. And a, a variation of this is to come onto your back, cross one leg over the other, and pull your legs into figure four. That's a good variation as well. But wherever you are, just stay there for a couple of breaths. Good, and to come out of it, just come back up onto your hands and just roll over and sit down. And from there, we're gonna just come into a fold over your leg. So you're already set up in that position. You're gonna inhale up tall, lengthen your torso, and exhale over that extended leg. You should feel a stretch in through your inner thigh, Stretch through your neck as you fold. Good. Keep flexing through that foot. Nice. And we can turn this right into pigeon on the other side. So just bend through that foot. And voila. Or if that didn't work, however you can get here get here. Again, you can take figure four on your back or you can do full pigeon. Inhale, chest up, feel that stretch through your hip flexor. 
and exhale, fold over that leg. Good, this is great for your hips and your glutes. You can also get a bit of a quad stretch. Nice. Let's take one more breath here. Good. And when you're ready, come out of it. I usually like to end this practice just coming onto my back, or if you're near a wall, bring your mat over to a wall and put your feet up the wall and just lie back like that. Just allows you to relax and to flush your legs, as they say. Do it, you'll know what I mean. And that's just a great little yoga flow to do after a ride, again, after work, uh, after a race, and just kind of touches on all the key muscles. And yeah, thanks for joining me. And that's it.